Hey guys, welcome to GameMat. Today we're going a video for our Insurgency Sandstorm ISM C mod, and today we're going to be covering the Remington or the Bushmaster ACR. So you'll see here in game, I'll just walk you through the weapon loadout here really quickly, and then I'm just going to leave you guys with the gameplay for this. I had a really good, I think it was 96 and 2 gameplay here, me and one other person in the server here playing on, I, I forget the map name, but it was a really good map actually. A lot of good cover, a lot of really good tactical movement, even though him and I weren't communicating we could kind of read each other exactly what the other person was thinking provided great cover fire and everything there so you can see in the video i'm actually going to go with the for the acr we're going to run the uh i'm going to run be running the leopold lco with the g33 magnifier and then we're also going to be running um a standard pistol grip I, you can see i play around the different options going to be running a different foregrip here i think i'm going with the one of the socom Four grips or the stubby and then you'll see me also put on the socom suppressor here for this one also so i think we end up going with a magpul suppressor or, or actually or excuse me a magpul foregrip with the uh with the socom suppressor and then we just have the uh the operators training as well as you'll see the uh the cool camo i, I put on there is the alternate camo there it gives it like a, a nice desert tan type camouflage with this along with that uh Tan PEC 15 um, EOTech, EOTech NGAL option I have there on the top of it's any rail. So, really good looking weapon, the ACR. They just added this to the game, I guess. I, I haven't logged into Play Sandstorm in a few weeks, and it looks like this was one of the more recent updates. So, the Remington ACR, or the Bushmaster ACR, if you guys probably remember this from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, really interesting weapon there. Developed under Magpul by, you have Remington Arms for the military variant, and then Bushmaster for the civilian uh, variant of the weapon there. So this actually competed um, for the initial trials to replace the M M4 on the invitation-only industry day that the military held, by the U.S. Army held, on November 13th, 2008. So this weapon competed um, against the, the M4, of course, and the FN SCAR to see which could be more compatible to potentially replace the M4 in the future. So obviously, we know that the SCAR ended up coming out of there with the military contract. Um, the ACR is still produced for other militaries as well as law enforcement, and I believe they still have the civilian uses out there as well. It was uh, first released in 2010 for the civilian market. And they actually had to do a recall for it because there was a glitch found where it could potentially find or fire multiple rounds with one pull of the trigger. Um, something that they found with a design flaw. So they ended up doing a full recall of all of the ACRs. So basically it was an issue where multiple rounds would fire continuously when the trigger is pulled, just allowing for complete out of control and obviously a lot of misfires and, and potentially dangerous situations there so they did a recall but interesting weapon here and i really enjoy the way it handles in game unfortunately um they don't have any extended magazine options with this which is actually fine because it just made me think a little bit more and have to reload um with my 30 round magazine i'm also going to be running a ump 45 you'll see i'm on sling there i'll be picking that out quite a bit as well uh for the acr though it's produced from 2010 through 2020 i believe it's still being produced today the mass of the weapon overall is 7.9 pounds through 9.8 pounds. The length is going to be 25.8 inches with the stock folded and 32 inches with the stock extended or deployed. So the barrel length for the weapon, a couple different variants here. Um, for the Remington ACR, 14.5, 10.5, 8.25, and then there's a 16 and the 18.5 versions there as well. The caliber, again, this weapon was allowed to, similar with the uh, the SCAR and some other weapons that we've seen, like the XM8, um, quick change of the barrel. You can you can change out different rounds in the bolt carrier there. So what you can do is there was, was still compatible with the 556 by 45 NATO. The 762 by 39 was a prototype. Uh, the 45, the 450 Bushmaster and the 6.8 Remington SPC, as well as 300 blackout rounds. So easily can swap out the barrel and the bolt the bull carry group to switch up the calibers there um really interesting weapon again the acr really miss having this in games uh i haven't really seen in any game besides this gameplay you're going to see here uh since modern warfare 2 but the the weapons caliber could easily be changed with replacing the bullhead and the magazine and obviously the barrel there 
which was a nice, a nice design. Somewhere I did discard of the same thing, as well as, like I said, the XM8, which was derived essentially from the G36. There's a lot of nice ambidextrous features that Magpul put onto this thing before it was put into the industry day trials. They had uh, ambidextrous, a lot of ambidextrous controls, just like Ancient K with the G36 and the XM8 that we saw. Also for this weapon, the fire rate, or the rate of fire is 650 through 700 rounds per minute. The muzzle velocity 1600 through 2250 2, feet per second. That'll be 490 through 690 meters per second. Effective range 500 meters um, for a point targets and 600 meters for area targets. Feed system is a 30 round Stenag mag. It is compatible with the M16 Stenag mags, however, Magpul and uh, Remington Bushmaster had their own proprietary magazines again with this, similar to P mags from Magpul. And the sights just Magpul M bus and the Picatinny rails for mounted optics, like you'll see here in the gameplay. But really good weapon. You'll a lot of you may remember it uh, from Modern Warfare 2, like I said, and it does look eerily similar to Agent K's newest uh, 433, which is known as Aquila 141 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Looks very similar. However, there are definitely some uh, some big differences, but you can't deny how similar they actually do look. But the Remington or the Bushmaster ACR, great weapon. Let me know what you guys think down below of this thing. A lot of fun to play with this here in game. And uh, I think, like I said, I had a 96 and 2 kill game here. A lot of fun. Good tactical gameplay here. Let me know down below what you guys think. Until next time, Buffer Game. Okay, let's do it! I'm green to green, dude, let's go! Get
Good! We got Echo! It's clear! I'm up! Wish our fire support here. Is that it?
New magazine! Alright, this is the 